and talk about the local real estate stats. That's the first thing uh, out of the gate today. Uh, October 15's stats came out from the Greater Tampa Association of Realtors. And as we see just about every, uh, every, every year at this time, the average sale price starts to drop a little bit. The number of transactions starts to drop a little bit. Interestingly enough, though, we, we, we really see it more in November and December than we do in October. December is usually a, a great sales month, but you have a lot less activity, which leads to lighter closings in January and February. But uh, this October, our average sale price of two sixteen five forty four in the greater Tampa area, down from two twenty one seventy six in September. However, uh, compared to last October, it was two hundred three three seventy six. So year over year, about a six and a half percent jump in the average sale price in Tampa. Still, home selling on average in about sixty five to seventy days, uh, three months of inventory. And as I talk about every time I read these statistics, uh, just just because I talk about the averages doesn't mean it applies to your home. Um, you know, the higher the price and, you know, the, the more unique the house, the longer it takes to sell. Higher priced homes aren't going to always sell in 65 days. And, and same with lower priced homes, depending on the saturation rates. But we're in a big market, so these statistics don't always um, apply to every single uh, neighborhood in Tampa Bay. But uh, 2,562 homes sold in October uh, versus 2,646 in September. And compared to uh, last October, it's 2,423, so uh, a, a, again, a jump of about 6% on the number of sales as well. So a nice bump from last October in our average sale price and in our, um, you know, in our number of sales and the time it takes to sell a home last October, 78 days, this October, 65 days. So that's about a 20% faster uh, sales cycle. So the market overall as a whole still very healthy. Three months of inventory. We're definitely in a seller's market. Uh, less than three months is considered a, an extreme seller's market. Uh, six months is considered balanced. So one of the, the things I always like to tell people to help them understand their home's value uh, is, is looking at the saturation rates or, or the price that they'll likely yield in a sale. Uh, you know, if, if we say it's three months of, of inventory on average, but you look in your neighborhood and there's six homes on the market and one home is sold in six months, that's a couple of years of inventory, you know. So that's one of the things to pay attention to when you're thinking about selling your home, not just what has sold and not just hearing me say the average is three months, but looking at your neighborhood and say, how many homes have sold in my neighborhood? And comparing that to how many are on the market, that'll give you an idea of how saturated it is based on the current demand. Uh, so you can, you know, use that in your analogy. We use that a lot of the times with our pricing graphs because if, you know, even if the price looks effective, if, if it's going to take six or seven months to sell versus a year versus two years, uh, sometimes you have to price in front of that. If the market's oversaturated, prices tend to soften. If there's less inventory, you know, then, then supply and demand works in the home seller's favor and prices go up. But as a buyer and a seller, that's a really important statistic to look at, you know, depending on the neighborhood you're looking at, uh, is the saturation rates. Because it is not uh, a, an extreme seller's market everywhere across Tampa Bay. There are neighborhoods where uh, it's still a buyer's market and, and there's tons of homes on the market and there's neighborhoods where there's nothing on the market. So uh, that's the update on the on the real estate statistics. I want to talk about a couple of home buyer needs our team has. Uh, we actually posted some of these on our Facebook page. Um, what we've started doing is buyers that we represent, we go online and we're geographically putting Facebook ads out to the neighborhoods that those buyers are looking for homes for. So Carroll Woods, South Tampa, West Chase, you know, if you have a home uh, in one of those neighborhoods and you're thinking about selling it, you're not sure what you want to do, you might be able to save thousands of dollars in commission. We might already have the buyer for it. You can find out at facebook.com slash the Duncan Duo Show. We've got a couple of the ads and posts up there about the homes that we're looking for for buyers. And um, one of them is Jackie. She's looking for a home in original Carrollwood up to $325,000. Wants a move-in ready upgraded 3-2 with garage. Uh, and then we've got Gisela in Oldsmar or Palm Harbor. It's looking up to about two hundred dollars on a move-in ready quiet street. Also looking for a, a three-bedroom, two-bath home. Uh, and um, so those are a couple of the buyer needs that we have right now.